Metro's newest general manager officially starts today. Brandy Clark joins WMATA as the agency deals with ongoing delays and safety problems. Nicole D'Antonio joins us live from LaFont Plaza this morning with how he plans to address passenger questions. Morning, Nicole. Hey there, good morning to both of you. Randy Clark stepping in to help an agency still dealing with staffing concerns, significant delays, and those ongoing questions about the future and the return of those 7,000 series cars. Now today, Clark will actually be right here talking with passengers and answering questions about the future of Metro. Now Clark comes to Washington, D.C. from Austin, Texas, where he ran the city's capital metro system. He takes over for Paul Wiedefeld, who officially stepped down as Metro General manager back in May after Metro was forced to sideline 72 train operators who were a year behind on safety recertification. Now it's been nearly a year since a Metro train derailed along the blue line in Arlington, forcing Metro to pull the 7000 series train cars from the tracks, leading to extended wait times. Now in preparation for today in a tweet, Randy Clark shared that listening to customers is a top priority, saying that all input on how the transit service can be continually improved is well welcomed and adding that he will be an advocate for all customers because he is a customer as well. Now, uh, talking about some of those questions, I've already seen questions online, people asking about the next steps for the Silver Line going from Reston out to Loudoun County. That's, I'm sure, one of the questions that will be addressed today. Again, he will be right here this afternoon from 4 to 6 in the afternoon. Guys, we will continue to stay on top of this developing story. For now, we'll send things back inside to you.